Well, regret, it can be a feeling that sticks with you over time. And tonight, Fox 2's Tim Mazzell looks at dealing with it through this pandemic. Today, we want to talk about the roadblock of regret. In his book, A Touch of Wonder, Arthur Gordon recalls a conversation he had with a dear friend. He refers to him as the old man. And Gordon was telling him about his regrets and his past mistakes. And the old man said, ah, the two saddest words in any language, if only. He said, if only we could get past if only, we could make some progress. He said, the problem with if only is it doesn't go anywhere. It wastes time. It leaves the person facing the wrong direction, backwards instead of forwards. It becomes a roadblock, and if it becomes a habit, it becomes just an excuse for not even trying anymore. He said, mistakes are what we learn from. But when you're sitting here telling me about them, lamenting this and regretting that, you're not learning from them at all. You're not getting out of the past tense. He said, why don't you just change the focus? You know, change the key words that you're using. You know, replace one that is creating drag with one that provides lift. He said, take out if only and replace it with next time. You see, by doing that, we're learning from the mistakes of the past, the lessons we've learned from them, rather than just being stuck in them. We can move forward. He said, we can push aside that roadblock of regret and begin to move forward, take action, and resume living life again. Let's not get stuck in the pit of regret. Let's put on the wings of hope that are provided by thinking of next time, learning from our mistakes instead of being chained by them. Have a great day. God bless.